Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to take the curl of a vector field in cylindrical coordinates. Now, notice there's a couple ways in which you can write it. The curl of a vector in cylindrical coordinates can be written like this. Now, notice that it almost looks the same like Cartesian coordinate systems. We have the rho, the phi, and the z unit vectors, but we have a 1 over rho and a 1 over rho component there. The reason why we do that is we want to make sure that the units here are all the same. Notice that this has units of meters or length, and if we divide it by 1 over rho, it has a non-unit component. This has a non-unit component because it's in radians, and z, which has a unit of length, divided by rho, again, the units of length disappear, and we'd simply have an entire row here that has units of radians, which is basically a non-unit. Then we have the partial with respect to the three dimensions, rho, phi, and z, and then we have the components of the vector quantity or the vector field in the rho direction, the phi direction, and the z direction. Notice we also must multiply this by rho, otherwise we don't have the correct units. This is the units of length, length, and we have to have a rho there to have any units of length. Now notice what we can do for the top row. We can factor out a 1 over row and write it like this instead. And you'll probably see it written like this more often than you'll see it written like this. But either way, you can see that both are the same. Now let's go ahead and, and go through the operation. So the curl of a vector quantity or a vector field is going to be equal to 1 over rho times we take the first element here, the row unit vector, and we multiply that times the product of this times this minus this times this. So this will give us the partial with respect to phi of a sub z minus the partial, and let's bring the one over, no, let's bring the row over like this, the row times the partial with respect to z of the a component of the vector minus rho times the phi unit vector times, and I don't want a bracket here, I actually want a parenthesis, the bracket will close the whole thing, so parentheses open. So we have this term right here, now this times this, we have the partial with respect to rho of a sub z minus the partial with respect to z of a sub rho. And then plus the third unit right here, which is the z unit vector times, we have this times this, so the partial of rho of rho times a sub naught, which is the additional way of writing this. Oh, I don't want to close the parentheses yet, because I now have to subtract from that minus this times this, which is the partial with respect to z of a sub rho. So simplifying this, it will look as follows. First of all, we're going to multiply the 1 over rho in with all the terms inside, and then we're going to switch these two around and making that into a positive. So this will then look as follows. This is equal to, see here, the rho unit vector times 1 over rho, we multiply this through, times the partial of a sub z with respect to phi, minus, now 1 over rho times rho, they cancel out, so we're left with the partial of a sub phi with respect to z. Here we're going to make that into a plus. Now the 1 over rho here will cancel out with the rho there, and we're left with phi unit vector times, and switch these around because we want to change the negative sign to a positive, so the partial of the rho component with respect to z minus the partial of the z component with respect to rho. And then finally, plus the z unit vector times so we have 1 over rho times this will be written as 1 over rho times the partial of rho times a sub phi divided by the partial respect to rho minus 1 over rho times the partial of a sub rho with respect to z. Now you may say, well, why not I multiply the 1 over rho times the rho here and cancel that out? Well, typically when, one, when you want to use the curl in cylindrical coordinates, you want to write it like this, otherwise you can't get the correct answer when you try to solve some of the problems. So this is a more preferred way of writing it, just like we did in the previous one where we took the divergence of a vector field and we used this relationship to that because this will give us the correct answer when we start working out problems, this form, and when you 
uh, eliminated to rows like that, you will not get the correct answer, so we leave it in that form. And that's how we write the curl of a vector field in cylindrical coordinates.